I'm really thrilled to have him on. He's in training camp, and so right now this oh, is yeah. on Mugla, but this is going to go on YouTube. Uh, we have a stinger for it. It is time to bring on, well, they call him Street Jesus, Jorge Masvidal. Ooh. Is Jake Paul, uh, what's your impression of Jake Paul? Is he a real fighter, or is this, you know, he's just a showman? Because there are a lot of questions right now. I mean, th give me your definition of, of, like, a real fighter, you know, like, like, well, in other words, I know people are asking, how, how good would you say his skill set actually is? I believe he's a decent athlete. He has some coordination. And being his background that he grew up in the Disney Channel, now he's doing what he's doing. I think he's doing pretty good. But when you say real fighter, and especially to me, I'm thinking of real fighters. I'm, I'm thinking of guys that made a living right. solely off this. And those guys are mean. Those guys only know this. You got to keep him away from that and keep building him and keep building him. Yeah. You know, he could get upset or, or not upset, but it's on his truth. You know, I see him calling out Canelo and stuff. That's all for clout. You know, he, he won't get in there with Canelo he, or guys like that or, or, or some of those MMA guys that he's calling out that are actually mean that don't give a fuck about <laughs> being up. The, These guys don't care about networking and being on TV. You know, like him saying that he, uh, he could go with Dustin Poirier. Dustin Poirier will break his jaw will torture him <laughs> well these are guys just like me that we made a living off this we, yeah. we didn't make a living off going to parties and networking with people and we don't give a fuck about that either we, we love the fight that's what we do he has to stay away from those guys you know ben was a great fight for him and stuff like that and i was the first one to call in the mma community got upset at me now they're all kissing my ass i'm like man it's, it's just common sense you know ben has always this striking in right. his interviews you say i don't need to strike i could wrestle these guys to death it's uh it's disrespectful. It's mixed yeah. martial arts, you know. So he wasn't our representative ever for mixed martial arts. Right. Well, you know, it's funny that you you mentioned that. Uh, I did not expect you to answer that way, considering you trained him. I'm not a big fan of uh, of the Paul brothers because you know one thing I respect about you. We've talked about this. People say you're game bred as a Jorge Masvidal, you know, nickname. Why? Because you fight anybody anytime, right? And you go for challenges. Listen, I know you're a, you say you're a mean guy, but you're not a mean guy. You have a killer instinct, is what I would say. You're not a bully. You don't. You don't no, call no. out or beat up people who are, you know, you wouldn't no. call out an amateur fighter. That's that's something that, no. yeah. Whereas it's not a thing to me. It's not, you know, I don't play chess with little kids because it's. Uh, I don't want to. <laughs> <it's funny. laughs> you don't play chess with kids because <laughs> no, I'm gonna play chess with somebody that that you know we're evenly matched or slightly better than me to, to make it a challenge. You know, I, I'm gonna have to use my brain. It's the same thing in fighting. Unless I'm gonna get tons of money for it, I, I don't care to fight. Right. Somebody that it doesn't make a living well, off of this. I mentioned that because I think the Paul brothers, are, they're kind of bullies because there have been quite a few stories. You know, I ran into this after the Vox had Pocalypse. Uh, G, uh, I think his brother Logan was trying to rehab his image there and said, like, you know, I was homophobic and stuff and racist. And so they invited me to go on the show. And I didn't know this at the time. They invited me to go do the podcast. And Qu Quarter Black Garrett knows this. And then they fit in that little rider like, oh, and, and then afterwards they were going to take me out back into the boxing ring. This is like two years ago before. First off, I've never boxed in my life. And this was before they were doing fights on pay-per-view. They were like, yeah, come do a podcast. They're planning on beating the shit out of me in their backyard. So I was like, this is really, really weird. I said, wait, box? What are you talking about? You said do the podcast. Like, oh, yeah, we'll go back and, uh, you know, here, sign this. We're like, no, are you out of your mind? <laughs> So you just take it down and fucking, you well, know, no, we're very clear. Only boxing. Yeah. If it's MMA, it's, it's fun, but, uh, no. And, uh, listen, I have no interest in doing this. I mean, for crying out loud, I just fractured my femur, but, uh, that's why I said when people say Jorge Masvidal is mean, I say, well, no, he's got a killer instinct. And there's a big difference between that. I, when I used to compete in jujitsu, I've talked about this, Jorge, maybe you can expound on this, the killer instinct. I don't have it unless someone has personally wronged me. One time I was in a jiu-jitsu tournament, I was just telling the story, and I had a guy in a tough cross face side control, and I liked the guy a lot, and I was winning, and when I was putting it, I heard him go, Ugh! like this, and I said, I'm sorry, and I let him go, and he put me back in guard because I just felt bad, and I said, I shouldn't be doing this. I don't have the heart for it. That's not mean, but you would have probably broken his jaw. For a fact. What, once... <laughs> competition time the switch clicks on it and i'm just there to compete i'm there to win i'm not going to do anything elite but i'm gonna do everything in my power to make sure that i secure that victory you know and if that's hurting the person well then you know you better tap before i get the snap in your jaw you know yeah i know okay final question are you doing anything with the the, the trumps right now donald trump jr oh no no right now i just i've been focusing on the fight man i i, I got the only thing on my mind is murder Watch Louder with Crowder live, Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.